There it is, 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 there it is! Finally, after perhaps the most punishing battle I have ever had, I land one of the biggest, strongest, and most alien freshwater fish I've ever seen. The thing I really want to do with this one, though, is get a close look at the tail. I mean, obviously not too close. And to think this is a fish that until recently I didn't even know existed. The Chucho de Rio is unlike any other ray I've come across. OK, 50... Nearly 53 inches. Which would make it easily 250 pounds. But what really makes this species stand out is that it is a killer, with a weapon as brutal as a medieval mace, like a club fortified with rusty nails, which it drives in with its massive bulk. I might have to just kneel on top of the animal. Uh, OK. <clears throat> That's what I wanted to look at. Uh, the dead animal I saw had its tail chopped off. This one has its sting intact. That's got two stings on there. And also, by the look of it, uh, you know, this can come a long way on either side. It's also very flexible. So I wouldn't want to get anywhere near this. <sighs> Time to put this back in the water. Um, my arms are just aching so much. I've been fishing solid for 11 days. If this feels anything like I do, it's very tired. What I'm about to do now is actually very significant because this is a fish, and I always like to return fish alive, but this is a fish where, you know, the locals don't give it any quarter. This stingray has evolved to survive in totally fresh water. In fact, it is now thought to be incapable of living in the sea. 